Yo guys, how's it going? It is me, Cosmos here. Welcome back to another video on the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings for streaming on whether you're going to stream on YouTube Gaming or Twitch or any other platform. I'm going to be showing you guys the best settings to do that. And I would recommend internet above one megabyte per second. If you have below that, uh, maybe wait till you get better internet. But uh, one megabyte per second is probably the minimum to do this. But anyway, we are going to go and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So let's get into this right now. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Google Chrome and you're going to want to have a look at your internet. So as we see here, I have my internet. Um, I don't have the best download, but i got a pretty good upload speed, which is uh, pretty good for uh, HD streaming. So uh, as we see here, what you want to do is just go on speedtest.net. Link will be in the description or you can just go www.speedtest.net. It'll lead you to this. What you're going to want to do is just test your internet and see what it is. And then with this upload speed here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to convert that into kilobytes per second and as we see there it's on megabits per second we want to convert that to kilobytes per second or kilobits I'm not sure if I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing there but we don't really care about our download speed or our ping but we just want to care about our upload speed so once you've done that you're gonna to want to come to OBS project and once you come to this website we're just gonna go back to the home page right here and I'll show you guys how to get to where I just got then once you get to this home page again this link will be in the description or you can just search OBS in um, on the internet and it'll come up first one but you're going to want to go to the help tab, go down to estimator, click on that, and then it'll come up with this streams, settings, estimator type thing. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in your uh, PC specs and also your internet speed. So uh, put in your PC specs, this is mine here, I've got a uh, second gen i5, so we're going to put that in there, and uh, I've got a uh, GTX 950, so that will be in here, but if you have anything else, like install HD, put that there, or anything else, just use that. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to put in what type of things you're going to be streaming. So I like to stream like Overwatch and Black Ops 3, so that's FPS, high motion, slash action games. But if you're doing like maybe Pokemon or something like that, something that you don't really uh, need to, uh, that's nothing's really moving that much, go on this. And uh, anything like this, RTS games or anything like that, which involves scrolling, that's medium motion. But I usually do high motion and I'm pretty sure most of you guys would probably be doing high motion as well. And then what you're going to want to do here, guys, is put in how fast your upload speed is. So entering kilobytes per second. So if we go back here, um, my upload speed is 4.48 megabytes per second. So it's going to convert that into kilobits per second. And what we're going to want to do is that's basically just going to be all the numbers with a zero on the end, which is how I work it out. So 4480, and that's 4480 kilobits per second, which is equal to that. But just say you guys have uh, one, one megabyte per second, uh, one megabit, I should say. I always get it mixed up. What am I doing? Um, you'd put in 1,000 kilobits per second, and then you can uh, go here, and you'll most be, mo you'll most likely be going in a 1920 by 1080 uh, screen size game resolution. So you want to click that, and just say we have uh, one megabyte per second, one megabit per second. Oh, geez, man, I, I need to, get, I need to get this down pat. Uh, just say you have one megabit per second upload. You want to go recommend settings, and as we see here, it gives you all these recommendations for your stream. So as we see here, uh, we have set FPS to 30, try and aim for the highest bit rate possible for high motion games, and some more game advice over here. Use game capture, like just say the Elgato, whatever you use for that, or use a window capture if you're doing PC games. But as we see here, it says your upload is sufficient for 480p slash 720p and uh, just read all the rest of this and it gives you this is the, probably the most important spot right here so as we see right here it's going to give us our max bit rate and our recommended buffer size and this is going to be the best part for this so I'm going to be doing this for uh, 1 megabit per second upload and also 5 megabit per second upload so as we see here we are going to go to 5000 and it's going to give us more recommendations and obviously this is a lot better so it's going to give us a higher max bit rate and a higher buffer size so first we're going to start off with 1 megabit per second and we're just going to go right here and if you have 5 megabit per second and you want to see how to do that or if you have anything higher 5 megabit per second is probably the um, minimum for like really good high quality so if you want to look at that uh, skip to after I've done this but what we're going to do right here is we're going to want to go to the settings tab in OBS if you don't have OBS just go on to the same website here so if we go to OBS project um, it's going to come up and you should be able to download it for whatever you want uh, Windows 7 8 or 10 and it's pretty easy I'm not going to tell you guys about this we'll most likely be going to 
uh, be looking at the settings and stuff. So we're going to go in here now. Don't really need to worry about general, but this is where it gets good, the encoding. Uh, this is my encoding right here, and this is because uh, with my internet that I have. So uh, if over here, what it recommends for you is 850 and 510. But what we actually are going to do is we're just going to use 850. So just put 850 for both. And then what you're going to want to do is have use CBR on and uh, we want custom buffer size off. So just have a look at this screen, pause it if you need to and copy exactly what I got here. And I'll probably actually put this down to maybe 80 bit rate for audio. Alright guys, so the next thing we're going to want to go into is broadcast settings and whatever we want here you can put on uh, mode live stream. We want to make sure we have live stream on. We are going to be live streaming. I live stream to YouTube but you can swap that to whatever you want and just put in the rest of this. That's pretty simple. But as we see here, video, don't really need to touch this much but uh, what we're going to do is put in our base resolution. So 1920 by 1080 which is the screen size and then um, I've actually downsized mine to 7... 20 by 1280 by 720 and but if you have one megabit per second uh, Upload then you're gonna want to maybe put this down to 852 by 480 or if you just want to sacrifice some of the quality and you can put it up to there But I'll probably recommend having this like that But that guys is kind of what we want there. You can put it whatever you want. You can have it uh, 480p or 720p. I would probably recommend for 1 megabit per second 480p, but it doesn't really matter. And audio, don't really have to worry about this. If you're using the Elgato, put the um, mic sync offset to uh, 200 milliseconds. It just helps it sync up the audio with the game better. And what you want to do here, put in your speakers and also put in your microphone. And uh, we don't really need to touch this too much. Just look at this and whatever I have here, you guys can have that too. Because I've got a pretty beast computer and this will probably work for whether you have uh, not very good computer or a good computer but now guys we're going to be getting on for the 5 megabit per second settings so we're going to go over here and go 5,000 kilobits per second and it's going to show us all these things right here so we're going to um, set our FPS to 30 you can put it up to 60 if you want to I usually have mine on uh, 60 FPS as we see here uh, where is it? Video 60 FPS. I usually have mine on that. And uh, over here, we're going to want to put in 3,500, which is as high as you can get because uh, Twitch doesn't support higher than 3,500 unless you're parted, partnered with Twitch. So this is the highest you can get anyway, and it's the highest quality you'll be able to get. You're going to want to put up the bit rate to 128 bit rate, and that's going to help out your audio a lot. Right here, just do the same as with the other stuff. And over here, make sure you have Lance Coes. I can't even say that, but that gives the best detail and we don't really want bilinear, we just want this one that'll work out properly and I would recommend 720p for 5 megabits per second but if you really want to uh, you can go up to 1080p but what it's actually going to do is it's just going to give the viewers more buffering so I would recommend 720p but that's whatever I guess and back over here just do the same here put your microphone in and stuff in advance you don't really need to touch that at all guys but anyway that's going to be the stream settings you should be able to stream very fine if you want to you can go to my channel and you can actually uh, look at my past stream that I did and it's pretty good quality I'm going to show you guys right here and okay we're going to get this up bam and I'm going to show you guys the quality of this as we see here I got 720p 60 and it's going to show us the quality if it loads if it loads and as we see here it's pretty good quality uh, we're going to put this okay I'm going to turn that up it, it's actually pretty good quality and there's no blurriness to it, which is really, really good. So uh, it's going to be uh, very good. And this is good quality, as you see. And it, it's, it's what you want, boys. It's what you want. But anyway, guys, that'll end off the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to smash the like button below. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.